Just All right, good morning, class. Today we are going to be making eclairs, but to make eclairs, we need to make a pot of shoe paste or eclair paste. Uh, once again, I've pulled another recipe off the internet. Um, this recipe comes from Sally's Bacon Edition. All right, I will uh, put the link to the recipe and the video. All right, so our ingredients are as follows. We're going to need a half a cup of butter cut into pieces, half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, one fourth teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of granulated sugar, one cup of all purpose flour, and four large eggs beaten. Um, this recipe also calls for um, egg wash, which is uh, Eggs beaten with one tablespoon of milk or water, but we are not going to need the egg wash for this recipe, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get a pot or a saucepan. Here is the pot we're going to use. I've already put in the sugar and the salt. I'm going to add the butter and I'm going to pour in the milk. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to put it on a stove on medium heat until everything is mixed and melted, okay? So we have our pot on the stove. I have a gas stove. You, an electric stove is just fine. Just put it on medium and we're going to need a whisk and we're just going to put this on the stove until everything is nice and melted. Okay, as you can see, our butter is melting into our mixture of milk and water. It's going to take a little bit more time. Speed up the process, give it a little stir from time to time, okay? Now I'm using a whisk here because when I add the flour, I want to make sure that it's going to be uh, all incorporated and not have any lumps. And we're getting ready to do that in just a second. Okay, right now we're going to add our flour and we're going to need to whisk it. Okay, so we're going to start whisking. Now at this point, you want to um, turn your pot down just a little bit and we're just going to whisk it. So I had to switch to a spoon, okay? Now we're almost there. We wanna try and get as many of those white lumps out as possible, but they will come out. This is a really nice uh, shoe dough. I wanna to refer to this as shoe dough. Ah. I wanna to refer to this as shoe dough for the remainder of the video. So again, I said I switched to the spoon here. I want to try and get a little bit of those white lumps out, but our this is the consistency of our shoe dough that we're looking for, okay? So we put our milk, water, butter, salt, sugar in. We let that melt. We added the flour, and we stirred until it came into a ball, which is no longer sticking to the sides, okay? That um, that can happen really quickly. I'd say it should happen in about uh, under five minutes. Not even not even five minutes. Okay. So this is the consistency of our shoe paste that we're looking for. Okay. Now once we get here, you want to have all of your eggs cracked into a bowl. You don't have to beat them per se, but we're going to have to add these one at a time in our mixer. In our mixer, and you'll see that in just a second. So I'm going to be using my kitchen aid. If you don't have a kitchen aid, you can use a hand blender. If you don't have a hand blender, you can also do this by hand 
with a paddle or a whisk, okay? So you just, I'm just going to dump this straight on into, into there just like that. Okay, it should be a nice clumpy ball. So I went ahead and put on my paddle attachment. I'm gonna close this down, make sure it's locked in place. Okay, everything's locked in place. I'm gonna turn this on. I want you all to get a really nice shot. Yes, a little bit of steam will come off and that's just fine. And we wanna add our eggs one at a time, making sure that we're looking for consistency as well. As we add the eggs, the dough is going to break up and then it's going to come back together. That's how we know it's ready to take another egg. You see it broke up, then it came back together. Now we can add another egg. It breaks up. and then it comes back together. Also, while all this is going on, you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven to about 350 degrees, which I've already done, okay? Uh, this is an excellent shoe pastry recipe with and I'm also going to put the link at the bottom of the video as well to get for the recipe okay and then we're going to add our last egg Oh yeah, this is an excellent shoe pastry recipe, okay? Again, that comes from, again, this recipe is coming from Sally's Baking Edition. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. We have an excellent dough, excellent shoe paste, okay? Look at it. This is the consistency that we're looking for, okay? You do, if it's running, you might as well just start again, um, just start again, but that's why I'm giving you this excellent recipe so you can just use this recipe and you should not have any problems. The, the key to this recipe when we get to this stage is adding those eggs one at a time. Uh, again, we used all purpose flour, half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, half a cup of butter, um, two tables, two teaspoons of salt, of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so what you're gonna need at this point is a baking sheet. As you can see, mine has been, been through it. It's been used a lot. And you're gonna need some wax paper. You can buy wax paper anywhere. It comes in a roll in a box. It just says wax paper, okay? And um, we're just gonna put that in the bottom of our cookie sheet or sheet pan, okay? Next, um, you're going to need a cup, and I just use the disposable QT cup, okay? I'd like to save those, and you're going to put a piping bag You're going to take a disposable You're going to take a disposable piping bag and put it in the bottom of your cup, just like such, and there you go, okay? Now, I've all, now, before you start, you always wanna wash your hands, make sure your surface is sanitized. So I've done that already, okay? So now we can just pour our shoe paste 
right into our cup and piping bag. Now, now if you don't have uh, piping bags like that, uh, I bought mine on Amazon and got them delivered. I, I, you know, this is just what I do because um, I don't want to keep using my other piping bags and get and washing them and whatnot all the time because they, they those bags wear down over time. But if you don't have disposable piping bags like I just showed you, you look, you get you a regular old Ziploc bag. You don't have to use this one gallon size. Uh, you can use a smaller uh, sandwich style bag if you want to. I just didn't have I just didn't have uh, any of those small sandwich bags left to show you. But what you would do, you'd open up your bag, you'd put your your paste in the bag, you'd slide it all the way down to the side, and you cut this tip off right here, the side of the bag, and you have a makeshift piping bag just like that. Okay. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and pour. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my shoe paste into the piping bag. So, knocked over the cup a little bit, but that's okay. But we're gonna put the shoe paste into the bag. So we got everything into the bag. And this is what's really cool about having it in a cup like this here. You see, comes straight up. So this is all of our shoe paste in the piping bag. Okay. Now we're going to cut the tip of our piping bag off right there. And then I want to show you how to pipe these eclairs out. Okay, as you can see, I cut the tip off and now we're going to start piping out our eclairs, okay? One eclair. If you want to get them a little bit bigger, just squeeze and I'll show you that right now. So, we want a little bit bigger. That wasn't a straight line. Let's see if I, Chef can get it in a straight line again. Oh, I'm going in slants instead of straight, but it's okay.
Okay, so we have some nice pipe declares right here. Okay, one well, ones up. Some nice pipe declares. Don't work. Don't worry. Just practice getting a straight line. They're still gonna come up because we still have to fill them and cover them in chocolate as well. And I'll show you how to do that in the next videos. Okay, our eclairs have been in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes at 350. And this is the, we want them to be nice and golden brown. Now what you wanna do is, is you wanna rotate that pan uh, while it's in the oven about, um, about 15 to 20 minutes in so they can have a nice golden brown even color, okay? Now from this step right here, we're gonna let these cool down. All right, we're gonna let them cool down. And then we are, I want to come back with uh, two more videos with the filling for our eclairs and how we dip them in the chocolate.